you know, we start talking about seasoning a cooler, people will probably roll their eyes. What does that mean? You know, you start thinking about seasoning meat. Well, literally we're seasoning a cooler right here. We've got a thin line of ice on the bottom and we've taken four of the Arctic ice bricks and we've laid them across there. You know, an Arctic ice comes in several different, uh, you've got the Alaskan series, the Tundra series, the Chillin' Brew. We put one of each in here right now just so you could see the differences of each one of them. Now that we've got everything set up in here, we know we're gonna basically double or triple the performance of this cooler already by, by really maximizing the cold chilling factors that we can put in here. So now we'll lay a few sodas in here and then we'll put just a little bit more ice uh, on here. And as that ice melts, because we all know ice is gonna melt. I mean, it's just inevitable that ice will go down and interact with that Arctic ice and it will actually refreeze. And just, it ensures that you're gonna have the coldest cooler you possibly can for any of beverages that you're looking at, whether it's an adult beverage, whether it's Kool-Aid, whether it's a soda, or you're keeping food cold at a highly remote location for a long period of time. I don't know exactly how long this is going to stay cold, but I've sat out here at our camp for seven plus days and been able to pull beverages out and they'd be so cold I got to let them warm up. So this is a great way to be able to season your cooler, maximize it whether you're trying to keep meat cold, whether you're trying to keep beverages cold. And I promise you, if you came and opened this cooler in a week, you're going to find something really cold in there.